Right, so I'm going to candle some chicken eggs. They're silky and I've got some arrow corner, which are green eggs. I'll just show you. This is a green arrow corner. They're quite big. Um, should be cross with a Peking chicken, so I don't know what the chick's going to turn out like, but worth a try. Um, and I've also got some silky eggs. Some of these might be um, frizzles. Never know. Right, so lights off. <clears throat> so I've got a couple of eggs which aren't, they're not actually doing anything. Here's one. You can just about see the egg is totally clear. You can just oops, you can just see where the yolk is, but it's not actually doing anything. This one's a silky. And here's another silky, which doesn't seem to be doing anything. This is an arrow corner, a green egg. You can just see the yolk on the top. Right, now this is an arrow corner which should be developing. As you can see, it's a lot darker, and you can see some of the veins. Whoops. You can see the spider veins there and I think that little blob there is part of the chick. I'll do it up. There you can actually see the chick developing there we go. down the bottom and I think you can see a little bit of movement. It's absolutely lovely when you can see the chicks developing so clearly. And then we'll do this is This is a silky egg. Now you can see quite a lot of veins, but I'm not actually sure if that is developing or whether that has got a bacterial ring all the way around. It does look, if you can see the red, that does look like that is developing a bacterial ring, so I don't think that chick is going to grow. But I I will leave it in, t in the incubator and then I'll check it. Um, these eggs are, they've been in the incubator seven days. This is another silky. Now let me turn that a little bit. There we go. You can see some nice spider veins there and I think the chick I'm trying it on there a bit better there we go you can see the chick is just over on that side So these eggs are seven days old. They've been in the incubator seven days. I will re-candle them again in at 14 days, and then I normally candle just before I set them to hatch. Let me just see if I can get another one. There we go. Right, there's 
This is another seal key. Oh yeah, you can see where the chip is developing. Lots of spider veins. And the chick seems to be there. If I don't know if that's coming out very clear. <laughs> oh yeah, the chick in this one is moving. Let's see if we can get it totally in shot. I don't know if you can see the chick moving about in there. Oh yeah, there it goes. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic to see them in the eggs and actually moving. There, there, it's come back again. Off it goes. <laughs> it's absolutely lovely. So I'll candle again in 14 days. There might be, it might not be that clear at that point, but... I will give it a go.